वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर टू दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स ओके न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर चैप्टर टू आई वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म यू दैन दे आर सम क्वेश्चन दैट आर रिमेनिंग ऑफ चैप्टर वन सो Uh, I will provide you those questions, uh, but not today. Uh, I will provide you after a few days. So, uh, uh, for the time being, we will go with our chapter two. Okay, that is nutrition in animals. Okay, so students, we all know what is nutrition. It is the mode of taking food. Mode of taking food. Okay, it is the mode of taking food. So, mode of taking food we will see in case of animals okay in case of animals what are the different modes of taking food okay in this chapter we will study about it so let's begin you have already seen in chapter 1 that plant can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis okay we all know that plant can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis okay students so we all know what is photosynthesis it is the process of making food by the plants in presence of carbon dioxide water sunlight etc okay so by this process what happen the plant can photosynthesize their own food but animal cannot okay students animal cannot prepare their own food so they are dependent on the plant for their food so here i want to uh, include one thing that plant can prepare their own food so they are known as producer okay they are known as producer and animals they are dependent on the plants so they are known as consumers okay uh, so um, animals get their food from plants either animals get the food from plants either directly by eating the plant or indirectly by eating animal that it plants okay so students you can see here that animal can get their food from plants okay we all we are also animal kind of animal okay so we are dependent on plant for our food okay we are directly eating the plant or indirectly by eating the animal that it plants okay so for example we can say that uh, the goat eats the plant but we human being eats the goat so this way we are directly or indirectly dependent on the plants okay so students here you see some animals eat both the plant and animals okay there are some animals that eat both plants and animals okay for example human being they eat the plants also they eat animals also okay the uh they are also known as omnivores okay so recall that all organism including human require food for growth re repair and functioning of the body so students you must know that food are required by the organisms for three things that is for the growth of their body for repairing the damaged part of their body and the functioning of their body okay for these three things food is required so animal nutrition include nutrient requirement mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body okay so here it is given that animal nutrition the mode of taking of food uh, of the animals required the uh, nutrient requirement mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body that means what uh, what different kind of nutrient are required by the animals for example carbohydrate protein fats and what is the way of taking the food and what are the way of utilizing it in the body okay so students let's move to next para so um, you have studied in class 5 or 6 6 that food consists of many component we all know that food consists of many components okay so try to recall it and list them below okay students this is very easy you all can do it very 
by yourself okay so do it by yourself next para the component of food such as carbohydrate here you see it's a component and here it's given carbohydrate that means number one you can write carbohydrates okay so next number two and up to six you do it by yourself okay so the component of food such as carbohydrate are complex substances okay students now see here the carbohydrate which we all consume are a uh, complex substances okay they are very complex okay so what happens for, for the proper digestion of the carbohydrate we cannot utilize it as such but we have to break it down into a simpler substances okay if we want to consume carbohydrate we cannot consume it directly okay as they are very complex substances okay for this process naturally there is a, pro a process called digestion okay so for this what happens students the carbohydrate are broken down into simpler substances okay so the breakdown of complex substances of food into simpler substances is called digestion okay by the process of digestion what happens students the complex processes they get into simpler substances okay so complex substances such as carbohydrate and proteins all those things are broke down by the process of digestion and then they are converted into simpler substances and after that only we get the proper nutrient and our food requirement is complete okay so students let's see the 2.1 okay different ways of taking food students there are many ways of taking food okay the way of taking food of one person or the way of taking food of one organism may differ from the way of taking food by the other organism okay so the mode of taking food into the body varies in different organisms okay so however we take food we varies okay for example human being they take food in other way but some animals they take food in the different way okay so here you see bees and hummingbirds sucks the nectar of plants okay what happened hummingbirds and other kind of bees they what what does they do they suck the nectar of the plant for the requirement of their food so infant of human and many other animals feed on mother's milk okay so small babies and uh, other animals they also feed on the mother's milk okay so snake like the python swallow the animal they prey upon okay so like snake and all they eat up the animal they prey upon okay the, the the snakes are the predator and the animals they they utilize for the requirement of their food are known as prey okay whatever the insect eats they are called prey okay insect are known as the predators so some aquatic animals filter tiny food particle floating nearby and feed upon them okay so aquatic animal means the animals that are found in the water okay that lives in the water okay so water animals what does they do they eat the food particles that are floating in the water okay so they feed on that so students let's see activity 2.1 what is the type of food and mode of feeding of the following animals okay write down your observation in the given table you may find the list of modes of feeding given below in the table helpful okay all these things are given you just need to write this fill up this box and this box okay so name of the animals is given like snail okay now kind of food you need to write the kind of food that snake snail takes and what is the mode of feeding for example the snail they 
take the food is grass okay here you can write grass and the mode of feeding is the snail chew that means chewing okay chewing will be the mode of feeding okay for example human being also eat many other kind of foods and they also chew okay mode of feeding is chewing so next is the ant ant the kind of food is insect okay ant eats the insect okay and mode of feeding is the scraping okay they scrape and eat the insect so next is the eagle so eagle they eat the flesh kind of food will be flesh and uh, what is the mode of feeding that will be swallowing okay they, they swallow the uh, food okay they swallow the flesh of the different animal okay eagle so hummingbird they feed on here it is given it is nectar okay so what happen they suck sucking sucking will be the mode of feeding okay this sucks the nectar okay lice mm, the kind of food is all know this this is blood we all know that the lice they feed on the blood and the way of feeding is sucking okay they also sucks the blood from our head okay so mosquito the kind of food is yeah anyone can see mosquito house fly and butterfly will be your homework okay so you all complete this tab table this will be your homework for today okay so students let's go to next chapter i mean next page that is amazing fact we will study up to here today and tomorrow we will start with digestion okay as digestion is a bit lengthy process so today i won't be able to complete so i will just go up to here and then tomorrow we will start this okay so amazing fact okay this is the fact starfish feed on animal covered by hard cells of calcium carbonate okay the starfish that are found in the water or river or um many other uh, oceans and all they feeds on what they feeds on animal that are covered with hard cells okay starfish feeds on the animal that are covered with hard cells okay the cells are made of calcium carbo carbonate okay these hard cells are made of calcium carbonate okay so after opening the cell what happen the starfish pop out its stomach through its cell oh sorry through its mouth okay starfish what does it do it pop out its stomach through its mouth okay suppose this is mouth it pop out its stomach from the mouth and it's the soft animal that is inside the cell okay uh, the starfish the it's the soft animal inside the cell okay so the stomach then goes back into the body and the food is slowly digested so after feeding on the soft animal what happen the stomach that is coming out from the mouth of the starfish goes inside the stomach and then the food slowly get digested okay so students i hope you have um, liked the video we will just go up to here today and tomorrow we will go with digestion okay so digestion as i all already mentioned you that it's a bit lengthy so today we will just stop here and uh, you just do that worksheet which uh, i provided you uh, you do it and send it to me okay thank you